Hello, I'm Cass and today I'm going to show you how to make light captures and the technique that we're going to use is overhand knots. So first you're going to get a yard of thread and the thread that we're using is super matte. And we are going to start off on the bottom of the light catcher and we're going to use a star for this one. Boy. And what we're going to do is we're going to center the star on our thread like so. And an overhand knot, what you're going to do is the thread's going to go around your fingers and then you're going to pull it through. And all you want to do is just kind of scooch the knot down like so and pull to tighten. And for our light catcher, what we're going to do is we're going to alternate the beads so that if you look over here, you can see how one bead will be sitting on one side and then the next bead will be sitting on the other side. And we're going to go this way. So I'm just going to put on my bead on one string and then I'm going to overhand knot again. So it's going to go around. Right through. And then we're just going to that knot down. And if you have, you can use tweezers just to get the knot a little bit closer, but since they're light catchers, they don't have to be that tight or that close unless you're picky like me. So what happens when the, the knot is lumpy? Mm. Like one loop is more than the other. What you can do is pull them separately and just kind of inch it down and that will flatten it out. How many beads would you recommend putting on a light catcher? Um, you can put as many beads as you want. Kind of depends on how you want it to hang. Um, we have some, I don't know if Ellie can show you, but we have some with really long string. Uh, you can do shorter strings. I guess depending on where you want to hang it and how long you want it to be. If you are hanging it from the ceiling, one thing you want to keep in mind is whether or not it's going to hit you in the head. That might be something to keep in mind. Uh, we use these nice little Swarovski crystals no. because of the way that they're faceted. What's kind of neat about them is that um, they'll catch the light really nicely, hence why they're light catchers. And they'll throw like these really pretty sparkles everywhere. Kind of like when you see um, diamonds, when the sun catches a diamond. It's like rainbows. Just 
just like that. And there you have it, a light catcher. Thank you for watching, and if you like our videos, please subscribe for more. Uh, we have all different types of tutorials that you can watch and learn how to make different types of jewelry. Thank you!